Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter one, lesson 11. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So for all of these, we are going to be using PEMDAS. Okay, we don't have any exponents in any of these, so I'm gonna cross that off. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, what we mean here is parentheses, and then multiplication and division are together. It's whichever one comes first, going left to right, and addition and subtraction, same thing. Whichever one comes first, going left to right. But the very first thing that we have to do is worry about parentheses. So 32 minus 20, that leaves me with 12. We still have to divide by the 4. 4 goes into 12 three times. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, parentheses first, so 2 plus 6 is 8. I still have 16 divided by. That didn't go anywhere. 8 goes into 16 two times. 2. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay. Um, okay. Parentheses first. 8 minus 3 is 5. So now I have 15 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5. I'm going to carry my 2 over here. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, 75. Okay, if you need to line this one up like this, you totally can. That's not a problem. You're still going to get 75. Okay, all right. I want you guys to go ahead and do 5 through 8. You totally can. Don't need me for that. We are going to rewrite the expressions with the parentheses to equal the given value. Okay, so this one we want to equal 11. So if I do 3 times 4, if I put the parentheses here, then I get 12. Minus 1 is 11, but then I have to add 2. That doesn't work, right? So what if I do them around the parentheses around 4 minus 1? Then I have 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 2, which is 11. That's perfect. So I can do that. Okay? That's all you have to do. 3 times 4 minus 1 plus 2. Okay? All right. I'm going to do this one more time. Okay? 2 times 6 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6 again, plus 1 is 7. That doesn't work for us. What if I did the parentheses around 2 plus 1? So then I have 2 times 6 is 12 divided by, that would be 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. We'd put our parentheses right there. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 divided by 3, that's 4. So 2 times 6 divided by 2 plus 1. Okay, I want you guys to try number 11, see how you do. Okay, we're going to go down and do number 12. Sandy has several pitchers to hold lemonade for school bake sale. Two pitchers can hold 64 ounces each, and four pitchers can hold 48 ounces each. How many total ounces can Sandy's pitchers hold? So I need 64 times 2. Okay. So I'm going to do this up here just so that I have some room. So 64 times 2. Okay. So that's going to give me 128. Okay. Then I have four times 48. Okay. So 32, 16, 19, so 192. So now, in order to find out how much they hold all together, I need to add those two numbers together. Okay. So 2 plus 8 is, zero, is 10. So I got 0 down, carried my 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 2 is going to be 12. Sorry. And then 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So 320 ounces. OZ means ounces. So you can write that. Okay. At the bake sale, Jonah sold 4 cakes for $8 each, 36 muffins for $2 each. What was the total amount in dollars he received from these sales? Okay. So 4 times 8 is 32. And 36 times 2 is 72. You guys can totally do that math on your own. You don't need me for that. Okay. In order to find the total, we need to add those two together. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 
and 3 plus 7 is 10. So $104. All right, guys, we're going to go over onto the back where you're going to do the lesson check. Just like always, we're going to go down and do the spiral review. Okay. What is the value of the expression? Well, we already know using PEMDAS, we have to do the, oh, nope, that was the lesson check. See, I already did that again. Okay. We're going to go down and do the spiral review now. So a small company packs 12 jars of jelly onto each of 110 boxes to bring to a farmer's market. How many jars of jelly does the company pack in all? So. We're going to say 110 times 12, okay? And 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. We're going to go tick, tack, and toe. And then 1 times 110 is 110. So I'm going to add those two together. 0, 2, 3, 1, which means jars. 1,320 jars, okay? Number four. Last year, a widget factory produced 1,012,060 widgets. What is this number written in standard form? So 1,012,000, that means I don't have a number in my hundred thousands place, but I have 12,000 and 60 widgets, which also means I don't have a number in my hundreds place, but I have 60. So 1,012,060 widgets, okay? A company has three divisions. Last year, one each division, sorry, each division, earned a profit of five times 10 to the five. What was the total profit the company earned last year? So I have to do three, times 5 times 10 to the 5. Now, we all know that this means 3 times 5 is 15, and then I need to add on 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 500, dollars All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 1.11. Come on back for 1.12. See you soon.